Saudi Arabia is on a huge building spree with massive mega projects such as Oxagon, Troyana, and the line. And now, more than five years after the Jeddah Tower, which poised to become the tallest skyscraper on the planet, was suddenly put to a complete stop, its construction might finally resume. But why now? What has changed? Let's find out. The Jeddah Tower will be the first man-made building in history to reach a height of more than one kilometer. This skyscraper is Saudi Arabia's goal to finally dethrone the Burj Khalifa, which has been the world's tallest structure for more than a decade. Once completed, it would surpass the current record by as much as 180 meters, and that is assuming that the Jeddah Tower will be built up to only a kilometer above the ground. Though it was announced that the tower would be at least 1,000 meters, its actual height is actually a closely guarded secret. According to some early interviews with the architect, it may even be closer to a mile or 1,600 meters in height, which would double the current record. However, once soil testing was done on the property, there were a lot of questions raised about whether such a large skyscraper could actually be constructed. As it stands today, we might never really know the height for sure until the building is finally finished. Once completed, the Jetta Tower will be home to a vast array of luxury residences restaurants, offices, a Four Seasons Hotel, and the world's highest observation deck. The architects of the skyscraper aspire to achieve the same economic success for Jeddah that Dubai has experienced from the Burj Khalifa. But first, let's look back a few years to see how we got here. Unsurprisingly, constructing the first building in history to reach a height of a kilometer is a major challenge. In fact, some of the leading architects from all over the world were chosen to take part in a design competition for the project. After all, American architect Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa and numerous other skyscrapers worldwide, came out on top with his breathtaking design. After the design was finalized, the main company behind the construction was also selected. Saudi-based construction from Bin Laden Group was awarded a $1.2 billion contract to begin laying the foundations for the Jeddah Tower. Meanwhile, the majority of the project's funding is coming from Kingdom Holding Company, which led by Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Finally, back in 2013, construction began after more than five years of planning and bidding. Over the following several years, everything went according to plan on the construction site, and by 2017, it was announced that the main structure had reached to a height of 252 meters. However, during the same year, the owner of Kingdom Holding Co. and the chairman of Saudi bin Laden were both arrested as part of the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge, a series of mass arrests in the country that targeted prominent princes, government officials, and businessmen. This messed things up for the Jeddah Tower because it's a private project depending on the financial support of a few individuals. The arrests hurt the project a lot. In 2018, labor issues with a contractor forced all construction work to stop, and just two years later, the COVID-19 pandemic began, which ended all hope for construction to resume. But now, after more than five years of complete silence, it was announced just last September that construction on the Jeddah Tower will now finally resume. The project developer has started the process of appointing a substitute contractor in replacement of Bin Laden Group. A number of companies from Europe, Asia, China, and Saudi Arabia have all been invited to make proposals for the deal. The invited companies were given three months to draft their proposals. However, why did work on the Jeddah Tower suddenly resume? Although the exact reasons are unknown, but we can make a few educated guesses based on the given information. For one, the Jeddah Tower is supposed to be Saudi Arabia's answer to Dubai's Burj Khalifa, an unprecedented feat of engineering that would see the country hold the prestige of having the tallest building in the world. If the project were to have been shelved indefinitely, it would have looked very bad and quite embarrassing for the country. The Saudi Vision 2030 of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is a last justification for the revival. Although, Jeddah Tower is backed by private investors, but it is a physical manifestation of the ambition behind Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative to reduce the kingdom's reliance on oil by diversifying its economy and based on what we've seen the Burj Khalifa do for Dubai, building a mega-tourist attraction definitely works. 
Today, the Burj Khalifa generates $621 million per year from ticket sales alone, excluding residential and commercial apartments. Therefore, actually completing the project is in the best interest of the nation. If construction on the tower were to continue smoothly and without delay, it might just be completed just in time by the turn of the decade. Well, we come to end of this video. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.